The ping protocol, when PC1 talked to PC2, in this video will follow a packet's journey as two computers, PC1 and PC2, talk to each other using ARP and ICMP. It's a step-by-step -step breakdown, told through a fun and technical conversation between two digital friends. PC1. All right, time to ping 192.168.1.2. PC1 is thinking. Let me figure out if the destination IP 192.168.1.2 is on the same local network as me. My IP address is 192.168.1.1. My subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. That means I belong to the subnet 192.168.1.0/24, which includes 254 usable IPs ranging from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.254. The destination IP is 192.168.1.2. Looks like the destination is in my local network. I can send the packet directly. No need for a router or gateway, but I still don't know its MAC address yet. I'll need to do an ARP lookup to figure out where to send the Ethernet frame. Hmm, do I already know the destination's MAC address? I'll check my ARP cache. Nope, no entry for 192.168.1.2. I'll have to resolve it first. Need to send a packet to 192.168.1.2, but I don't know its MAC. I'll send this broadcast message. Who has 192.168.1.2? Tell 192.168.1.1. MAC address 00E0F787ABD4. Let's ask the whole LAN by sending an ARP request now using this Ethernet frame. PC2. Oh. That's me they're asking about. I'll send back my MAC address to 192.168.1.1 using this ARP reply frame. PC1. Nice. ARP table updated. Now I can directly address the destination 192.168.1.2. Let's get this ping out, sending ICMP echo request with this IP packet. PC2. It looks like I've received a packet where both the destination MAC and IP match mine. Yep, I'm the one. The IP packet is an ICMP echo request. Let me respond with an ICMP echo reply. PC1, echo reply received. Round trip time looks great. The ping to 192.168.1.2 was successful. The TTL is 128 and the packet size is 32 bytes. And that's how a simple ping turns into a full conversation between two computers using ARP and ICMP behind the scenes. If you found this helpful or learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends or classmates who might enjoy it too. And make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications bell. There's more to come.